now we have all our notes in place so whatever we did in all the previous episodes we're gonna compile it into a graph so we have retrieve docs we have a node that create a model we have a document creator we have a conditional edge which checks whether a document was relevant or not we have the node which generates the answer from the model and we have the another last node which will gonna create our generated answer whether this answer generated was relevant to the question or not we have discussed everything we have implemented each and everything here now let's build a graph out of it so how to build a graph so we're gonna it is uh, very easy we'll you can see here we are creating a graph that is basically nothing but a state graph we are pulling it from the lang chain now it's important for the graph to understand what is my shared state and for me here my shared state is graph interface right before that i'm gonna create a channel which will gonna tell me how my state should change so if i am overwriting anything what should happen right so i'm gonna quickly call it here call it a graph state or we can call it a graph channel right so if i have a question i am mostly not updating it so i'm keep i'm keeping it null here uh, the generated answer I'm again keeping it null here it was generated answer right okay we have documents and model so for documents I am like trying to update my documents multiple times and since that is not a primitive data type I will gonna use a custom method to define how I want to update so let x be a previous value of the document and y be the new value of the document right I will gonna replace the previous value with my new value if it is by default like by default I want my value to be uh, an empty array right so that is how my grader will look like and initially my model would be null so this looks good because I am creating the open AI model and I am initializing it that's why I don't want initially to be like there should be uh, Initially, I'm making initializing my model to be null. So that's good. I'm going to pass the channel here so that we have this in place and then we are probably good to go. Okay, let's add a channel here. Okay, we have a channel here. Now it's time to add the nodes. So the first node I want to add is a node which retrieve the docs yes this is good now again I'm gonna that creates a model because like after that whatever we are doing we need a model for it so that it's, it's important to create a model and store that in the shared state so that further the nodes which are ahead can utilize it now it's time to create the document whatever document we have received from the retrieve doc node we need to create it right so i will probably gonna use a document creator which we defined earlier now once we did the we grade it it's time to generate right so this will gonna generate the answer now another which will gonna grade my generated answer so whatever answer i have generated it will gonna grade it right and then we have a final edge that will lock now we have created all our nodes here it's time to create a flow for it like how we want our graph to start uh, which node should be called first which node should be called afterwards right we have we haven't given that information to the graph we have only defined the node so it's time to give that information so first i want to start my edge so I, as i mentioned we already have this start uh, pointer given by the lang graph lang chain module so i'm going to implement it and for whenever my graph start it should first hit my retrieve docs right so i want to retrieve my docs first from the vector store once that is done i want to create a model right so once the doc has been retrieved i want to create a model and once my model has been created i want to further grade my documents right and that makes more sense so I'm gonna create my document once the document has been graded now it's time for the conditional edge to come up 
so we have defined a conditional edge before which will gonna take the document and decide whether to move ahead or not if we have the relevant document we move ahead otherwise we will not all right so we'll use that doc uh, that relevant that conditional edge so great document great document will gonna call has relevant document method and you can see this has relevant doc method was defined above in our previous episode which simply checks whether we have a relevant document or not if we have a relevant doc if we don't have a relevant document it returns a no if we have a relevant document it returns a yes so we need to handle both of these conditions so if it is a yes then please go ahead and generate right and if it is a no if it is a no then please end the loop or end the graph immediately so i'm gonna it is again i'm gonna importing the end pointer from lang chain lang graph and i want it want my conditional edge to end the graph immediately if there is a no if there is no relevant doc and so basically if there is no relevant documents then we end it otherwise we're gonna generate it and once we have generated it we need another final edge that will gonna call or basically that will gonna grade the answer right so once we have generated our a document we're gonna create the answer and once we have finally created it we will gonna end it so create the answer after grading please end this so this is the entire graph this is how the entire graph will look like uh, once the graph has been created it's in, it's time to um, compile this graph so i will gonna go ahead and do that Now in compile, I will gonna add a check pointer with a memory saver so that it saves the data in between the execution, right? And once we have the app ready, we want to execute this app. So I will no longer uh, fire my retrieve docs. Instead of that in the execute method, I will gonna call the awake method. So I'm gonna invoke the app here right and in order to invoke the app i need to pass my interface and after that i need to pass the configurable some configurations here which will probably be by default thread id and back from that i also need to this is my graph here so initially at the starting point of time we don't have much information we only know what we want to ask so let's say i ask what is lsm so I pass into the question and let the entire control flow execute from here and whatever response I received here this will be a graph interface we can log it or we can simply return the graph interface or I can simply first log the graph response and we are mostly interested in the generated answer so we log it here and then we can return anything we want Right. or we can not we do if you don't but we cannot return anything as well so this is good and yeah this is the entire this is the way we uh, create a graph uh, with our already created nodes and the edges